definitely took a moment, but it really left a whole community in shock and parents now demanding answers. Absolutely. We're talking about an in-home daycare that turned into a crime scene after a child got a hold of a gun and shot two three-year-old little boys and no now we're hearing from one of the boys families about this incident Nick Monticelli has been covering this story for us and understandably they're furious well considering what happened inside of that daycare an unlicensed daycare you understand why they're so upset the most important thing we can tell you though this morning is that those boys here are still at Children's Hospital but they haven't upgraded to serious but stable condition in the meantime, one of the boys' grandmothers are speaking out, explaining what their family is going through. Today, a first look at one of the two children shot in Dearborn. This is three-year-old Damien. He was shot in the shoulder, and he is on the road to a full recovery. Local Ford talked to his maternal grandmother. She says, my hope is he grows up and can forget what happened and what he witnessed. That's what I hope. I'm worried about the image they saw. Sources tell Local 4 the other child shot lost an eye and has had several surgeries. Police say a third child managed to get his hands on a gun and accidentally fired, hitting the children inside the daycare, a daycare that is not licensed. Damien's grandmother says she and the family are furious and still in disbelief. Guns were at the home. Samantha and Tim Eubank operated the daycare from the house on Harding Street in Dearborn. The mother adds, with all the education about gun safety, why didn't they know to lock their guns up? Why? Who doesn't know to use a gun lock with children around? Dearborn police found several weapons inside the home. They say the husband is an avid hunter. As the children recover, neighbors say they often saw many children running around the unlicensed daycare. But when Local 4 checked with the state, the Department of Health and Human Services, they all say they never received a single complaint or tip a daycare was operating from this Dearborn home. As you can imagine, the road to recovery will be long for both of these boys and costly for the families. Damien's grandmother has set up a GoFundMe account to help their family with their medical expenses. There's a link on our website at clickondetroit.com. We are live here at Children's Hospital. Nick mm. Monticelli, Local 4 News. This today. just should have never happened. You only wonder what was the adult doing in the home. And there were at least three children there. What were they doing? That were, were they watching? very young. I mean, right. We're talking about kids at the age of three years old. And a loaded gun in this home accessible to children. Any charges against these parents that were running the daycare? So the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office, they are still reviewing this case. But we have seen in cases very similar to this that they have gone forward and press charges against those uh, the responsible parents or adults in the area, so to speak. Also remember, though, this is an unlicensed daycare, so that's a whole other thing that they'll have to deal with. Yeah. Absolutely. Meanwhile, these two kids are, are fighting for their lives in the yeah. hospital. We certainly hope that they pull through. Yes. Nick, thank you.